Okay, I was a bit upset by the title uh, Corella gave me, because uh, I'm not standard, so why do you mean a standard talk? A uh, standard does not exist. <coughs> standard is for losers, okay? All should be top. That's my philosophy. And uh, there was one fellow who was uh, at my place, so he knows. Right? So, that's how it works. How to make an easy operation difficult? I don't write this down, but I say it. Fuck up the portal. Huh? If you have bad ports, you make surgery much more difficult. Yes. 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 <laughs> when the fellow up at the portal, hey, and I work in two rooms, so we go fast. Uh, as my partner and friend Peter Donko says, we are Formula One. So fast, 300 miles an hour, and no margin for error. That's how we work. Is this about portal placement or it is about? Is this about portal placement or it is about? When you start approaching a microscopy, you don't think about the portal. When you start approaching a microscopy, you don't need. think about the portals. It's surgery that matters. Do, portal is just a mean. It's surgery that matters. Apparently, no one cares about the portals. Nothing, Apparently, no cares about the portals. Nothing, Nothing about further portals. from his philosophy. He's mad right about guys, portals. Have fun. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Have fun. Ciao. So, uh, so uh, your team set up for normal mastectomy or cartilage surgery? Is this uh, I use support because in Belgium we have four people, there's only one at the table. Uh, my landmarks are. Tendon, joint line, both sides. Allow my ports to be really symmetrical. One centimeter away from the patellar tendon, both sides. And the height of the, of the uh, portal should be at the tip of the patella. This is what I want. In every, uh, every case like this. ACL, PSL, muscle transplant, everything like this. The more medial you go, the more chance you hit the nerve. And you, you, you don't need it. So this is a period in Monday. My nurse is cameraman, iPhone 10. My thumbs, I have small thumbs, my thumbs are only 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters. This is the height. I like to use an 11 blade. Uh, 15 blade, I hate 11 blades. First make a portal, turn next to the ten. I press to the skin, then we turn the blade around. I like to get left left portal, a little nick. Superior makes access so much easier. Okay. Let's see if it goes in there. It goes in there already. Oh. No stress, okay. The other portal, the middle one. I keep a foot on my knee. Don't give Alka stress, do the same thing. First the skin. And I go on pretty straightforward. I don't go to don't go the center. The center is the whole part, you want to come next to it. If you're young or very experienced, you use a needle to show you the right spot. See, my, my knife comes in the joint, and I turn, I turn around, put on this because and I come out. That's how you make it easy. It makes life so much easier. So once they meet next to the other tendon, it gives easy access to all, everything on you, also the backside. You want to go the middle, or when it's supposed to wrap up, the middle. Next to push it and the notch. Uh, I like to go the portal not too slow, not too, um, not too uh, little. Leo Pincheski is a big Australian surgeon, the older guys know him. He told me this, make it a bit bigger, because all people that during operations they push skin inwards, you get infections, because the bacteria is on the skin. So you want really sliding instruments, see, you can see. This should be easy with the wrist. Artoscopy is like playing golf, eh? nice movements, no bristings. See, I don't use the drainage, I have the drainage out of my hole. The skin stays close to the, to the knee. Okay. They have less portal pain if they come back on a, a visit of three weeks. So. Use the case, flat here, see. And you will see my, my pain goes really down, I can go really low. Makes easy access to the back of the knee. Everybody knows this, but also if you're close to the then you can go through the notch with a view of the backside of the meniscus and you have room with your instruments to work 
in the back of the knee without conflict, without any conflict. It's so easy. So the big mistake I see with my fellows who come to me, they do mastectomy and then they bend the knee and give valgus to have better access. With valgus flexion, you close, you, see, you close the knee if you flex the knee, you, close, you see it closing and you have no room to put your instrument. If it's cutting off the cartilage, Otherwise, we have this part view from our operating theatre. We operate uh, Antwerp South Central Park, it's not New York, but it's Antwerp. Again, same thing, if you extend the knee, this opens in the back. If you flex the knee, your room is much, uh, much more thin to work with your instruments. Even if you do a bit more difficult surgery, this is a root repair, just immediately. You have really have good ports to be able to do that surgery. But I don't think we'd have this planned in the, in the lab and root repair. This is, I think, pretty advanced. And you need good porters to do this. And this is the root. But, uh, you see, we I didn't fix it yet, but that's where the root was. And if you fix it, that's where the root comes in. Good porters make life so much easier. All ligament work, I right, saw so like this. This guy has uh, some surgery. PCL was completely gone. All around the knee, you can work all around the knee, front, back, medial, lateral, posterior, you can do extension, full flexion, put the tunica really high, it's really important also. This is a case I did a long time ago, we did at university, we did ACL, pizza with fluoroscopy, computer assistance, there's five screens to watch and three pedals, so you push one pedal and you forgot which screen you have to look, so it's all this place. Then, not what I use a lot is also medial portal. It will teach in the lab, I'm sure lots of you know it already. Eh? The good muscle post medial portal is not so easy. Uh, line marks are 2 centimeters, posterior 2 centimeters up of the joint line. I tend to go a bit higher if I can. You can use the scope to put light into the knee and see where you probably have to go. I always use a gray ventral needle to mark. See if I'm back enough and high enough. If you do PCL, you have to go from top to bottom to clean the back of the tibia. So first going with the needle, look if I'm unhappy with position. If you would do a ramp repair, you might go a bit lower on the on the entry for your post needle portal. Then going with a, again I use a 15 blade to make a small cross in the uh, post needle capsule. I just incise the skin, then with a blood dissection, I go into the capsule, and then I put my knife inside. I work in a Catholic hospital, so we might a little cross. And then, uh, so the knife is also blunt, probably. Then we take a cochlear lamp to really go in the knee and make the port a bit bigger. He calls the Lion King maneuver. The Lion opens his mouth and then uh, open mouth. So then you can put in a trocar and make life easy for the rest of the operation. Yeah, so we do it and then you clean the piece up on the back really easy. <coughs> the only thing you should not do is do this. Eh? I did ACL piece on the guy, the uh, goalkeeper was perfect. And at eight months they take an X-ray. Actually my partner started the case. And they said uh, that the issue after eight months they called me and we have a small issue. If you go in with the knife, always look. I didn't kill my partner, but I almost killed him. Um, and actually with fluoroscopy you couldn't see. And seeing back you could see that uh, I'm very sure it was, it was a small case due, due to my reputation to an uh, excellent result of the patient. Okay, don't do this. It's easy to look. Transceptal portal has been described in literature two years ago. I, to be honest, I never use it. You do, Vicenzo? Transceptal? No. I don't see any reason why you should do it. But, uh, we can do it in the lab just to find that it's uh, going in the back of the knee, very close to the vessels. I never see an indication why. Sometimes in case of a positive In a scar that is with it. Yeah. I never do. So there's a Mark Miller, an American military, he's a nice guy, eh? Mark here. They did a cadaver study, so we were pretty close to the vessels. Why I want to be there, I don't know, just 
to make precision completeness of the I do this. So uh, I don't go light of a portus. I can judge on how you make your portus if you're average or not. You don't be average, that's okay with me, but uh, I don't think I'm average. And I must say on a cadaver, it's much more difficult than in vivo. So it's a uh, lab is it's challenging if the tell is lower, you have to pull on the on a quarter ships, it's not so easy. I see on the lab is not so easy. But we're here to teach you some tips and tricks, uh, not only to judge and we'll, uh, we try to teach you. Uh, Again, my conclusion is how to make knee operation difficult. Get bad portals. Hi everybody, it is Alberto Busilacchi from Italy. I was Kuhn's fellow and I can tell you, he is the man. He will teach you how to put the right portals in your knee. But be ready, if you're wrong, he will treat you like the private pile of full metal jacket. So, finger crossed. Good luck everybody. Ciao. Yeah, he survived, don't worry, he survived. Huh? So, uh, so anyway, uh, hope we're going to have a good time in the lab. We'll teach lots of things. This is a beautiful intro by night. And I wish everybody good luck and uh, big fun and make, make the best and go for the win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Francesco Perdiza is the second win of the Master Atroscopist. Yeah? Yeah. yeah.